Greetings, greetings, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, my name is Dolens. Today I'll be helping you with the topic of markup. And we will be dealing with an example on markup on cost price. Okay, so now, there I've put a definition of markup which says markup is the percentage difference between a product's cost price and its selling price. Now, without any waste of time, let's go to the example on markup on cost price, where we find that there's a print and a copy business that is a trader of computer accessories, printer cartridge are purchased from a supplier at 400 rent per cartridge. Print and copy uses a 25% markup on cost price. You are required to calculate the selling price. All right. So before we calculate the, the selling price, let's determine our cost. Our cost is given there is 400 rent, right? Wow. Our cost is given there is 400 rand. So you can come and put it here under the table there and say 400 rand. Okay. And then we also use this markup on markup on 25% on cost. So it's going to be 25% markup there, 25%. 25%. Right, and we need to calculate the selling price in rent. Okay, then remember they're saying the print and copy uses a 25% markup on cost. So firstly, you need to come to determine the, 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 the principle. You need to know the principle. So the principle on markup on cost says whenever the markup is on cost price, the cost price is equal to 100%. It means now our 400 want, which is the cost price of the product, which is cartridge, is 100%. In rent is 400, but in percentage is equals to 100%. So let me show you something. The first thing you do, you determine percentages in this way. I'm going to guess go CP there. CP is our cost price is equals to 100%. You determine the percentages first. And that 100% is what a principle, right? It's a principle that says whenever markup it's determined on cost price, the cost price is equals to 100%. It does not change. Whether the purchase price or the cost price of the cartridge was 500 rent, or maybe was 1000 the cost price for as long as we are dealing with the markup on cost price the cost price was still going to be 100 percent right so now let's go and determine let's go and determine um, the markup percentage so the markup percentage there the markup percentage there is given right the markup percentage is given the markup percentage is given, is 25%, right? 25%, 25%, right? And then now we have to get or determine um, the markup on selling price. So the markup on selling price, remember you buy at 100, right? And then you, you add 25% of profit, you sell. It means you're gonna sell at 125 percent right now after this now you need to go and determine the percentages usually i'll give people like uh, a formula on how to calculate uh, the missing figures like now we have to calculate selling price so the formula will say the rent value i have multiply by 
the percentage of the amount I want divided by the percentage for the rent value I have, the percentage for the rent value I have. The percentage for the rent value I have. So it's going to be the rent value I have, right? Multiply by the percentage I want, divided by the rent value I have. Then you will be able to get the selling price. So let's see, let's engage in this calculation and see. Let's just demonstrate how we're going to get our selling price. So now, what is the rent value we have here? The rent value we have is 400. We're just following the formula, okay? The rent value we have there is 400 rent, right? Multiply by, what do we want? We want the selling price. So since we want the selling price and rent value, we're going to multiply by the percentage of the selling price. We're going to multiply by the percentage of selling price, which is 125. Then, we divide by the percentage of the rent value we have. What is the percentage of the rent value we have? Remember, we have cost price 100% and we also have 400 rand as the rent value of the cost price. So the, 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 the percentage of the rent value we have is going to be 100. So we'll divide by 100 today. 100. So let's see how much it's our... Let's see how much is our rent value for selling price. Let's just do our calculations there and see how much is the rent value for selling price. So it's going to be 400 multiplied by 125, which is what we want in rent, divided by 100. Then I get 500 rent. 500 rent is our selling price. 500 rand is our selling price. 500 rand is our selling price. It means now we'll have um, <clears throat> we'll have uh, equal to the rent value of the 125 is 500, which is our selling price. Which is our selling price. Which is our selling price. That is so easy, right? So this is how you do it. Firstly, you must have this formula. Are you with me? You must have this formula, and then you determine percentages, checking whether the markup is on cost or on selling, because markup is calculated in two methods, where they can use markup on cost price like we did now, and there's another one called markup on selling price, of which I will do a video on it as well so that you guys can be able to differentiate between the markup on selling and the markup on cost. I hope you understand this one. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Salute.